So how do you get famous? Well, 20 years ago, you'd have to take an improv class, perform at a local theater, get an agent, go to a TV audition, pick up a talent, do interviews, go on the news, try for a movie. And even with all of that, you still might end up way back at square one. But now, all you have to do is go on TikTok and post one video. It's safe to say that TikTok runs the world. But a few years ago, TikTok was actually failing miserably. Back then they were called Musical.ly and creators were struggling to reach people with the platform. But over the years, through perfecting their algorithm, you can easily pull in millions of views overnight. So if you've ever wondered why TikTok is so popular, this is the video where you finally get your answer. Before we get there, let's start with the story. Roll back the clock to January of 2020. It's the new year and we're all hyped about how great this next decade is gonna be. Well, for the first couple months at least. Because by March, people were getting sick and dying all around the globe. The only way to stay safe was to stay at home. So the entire world, seven billion people, went into lockdown. Okay, we can handle this, we thought. <laughs> we thought. So we lined up at Costco to grab toilet paper, bought ingredients to bake our own bread, and stocked up on drinks to turn the lockdowns into a party. I mean, it was only two weeks. What could possibly go wrong? But two weeks came and went, the days turned into weeks, the weeks into months, and tensions got higher and higher and higher. The fun had faded away completely, and we were lonelier than ever before. TikTok was a source of joy to break apart all of that tension. So we saw new TikTok dance trends coming and going, sounds to describe how everyone was feeling, and human expression at its rawest form. Now, let me introduce you to someone. This is Nathan. That tension that we were just talking about, well, it was hitting Nathan pretty hard. You see, back in 2020, he was nearly homeless, his trailer didn't have running water or electricity, and his truck kept on breaking down. But his job at the local potato factory was allowing him to barely scrape by. On the side, he liked to post videos to his TikTok account, like the rest of us, to keep up with his friends and have a little fun. So one morning, Nathan gets up for work and heads out to his truck. He grabs his keys, turns on his truck, and nothing. His truck broke down again. Longboard, juice, phone, out the door and on the way to work. While he rode over to work on his longboard, he looked around and decided to film a quick video for his TikTok. He hit record and could barely hear anything behind the wind, so he took a quick sip of his juice, and then once the chorus of the song hit, he sang along and the video ended. He quickly thought, I should probably just delete this, but whatever, it was fun, so let me see if I get any views. About 40 minutes later, he got to work, and right before he went to punch in, he checked his phone. 100,000 views. Views. What happened next changed Nathan's life forever. But we'll get back to that. Lift hangers. In the meantime, let's talk about how TikTok actually works. On the internet, viral moments are happening every single day. Think of these like seeds. When one viral seed gets planted, it can expand and create a trend. Just like that, the plant sprouts. Now in the beginning, this plant is small and the trend is growing. It reaches a few people in niche communities who start to share it with their friends. But over time, the trend starts to expand outwards, creating other trends in the process. Maybe this trend helped popularize a song and get it on the radio, or it gets people to start using a trending sound, or it gets people talking about a topic. All of these branches help a viral trend to expand outwards and reach more and more people. But at its base, it all comes back to this one viral seed, this one moment, which is impressive considering that 34 million seeds or 34 million videos are posted every single day. So what formula does TikTok use to make this happen? Well, it breaks down into three keys. Starting first with relatability. To create a viral moment, first people need to be interested in the core seed at the bottom of this tree. Think of it like this. We all have our own unique passions, hobbies, and interests, and we want to feel validated in those things by the people around us. Enter TikTok. In the past, a ton of studies have been done to compare the influence of celebrities versus regular influencers. Time and time again, the results are the exact same. We tend to relate a lot more to the influencers we watch over celebrities because our lives are more relatable to them. And if you zoom out, it makes sense. Celebrities are at the top of their game making a bunch of money, whereas influencers are kind of just like you and me. They're regular people. TikTok knows this, so they make it easy to find people with similar interests to you. By building their algorithm around shareability, TikTok is able to find videos that people connect with and start extending those tree branches out 
fast. But relatability does not matter at all without our second key, accessibility. Rolling back to the 90s, we didn't really have many options to find new music, TV shows, and outfit ideas. You basically had to pop in and watch some MTV to see what was trending and what everyone was listening to. But that meant that you were getting exposed to what MTV chose to show you. Nothing more, nothing less. So fast forward to now, and we all carry around mini computers in our pockets, using them for over seven hours every single day. And on these wonderful devices, we're able to get a constant supply of new information about what's trending in the world. World, which makes it so much easier to get exposed to new content that we relate to. So unlike MTV, which had to broadcast content that everyone would like, with TikTok, you can get custom tailored content for people just like you. But this accessibility works both ways. What is this hand thing going on here? In the same way that you can find content way easier, you can also share content too. Think about it like this. What would you have done back in the MTV days to get a new song shared to the world? Well, you basically just have to hope that someone picked it up and wanted to show it on live TV. But now, like we mentioned, your only barrier is opening an app and recording a quick video. You can go from consumer to creator in a matter of seconds. And the bottom line is, it's never been easier to share and discover new trends as they're happening. And that brings us to the third key, which I believe is the most important, brand engagement. Let's start this one with another example. In the last year, these Stanley tumblers have become insanely popular, all because of TikTok. And it comes back to last November when a lady named Danielle was hit with an unfortunate situation. You see, her car caught fire and it got totally destroyed. The next day, when she got access to her car, she took a look inside and noticed that her Stanley tumbler was not only intact, but that it still had ice in it. Literally, I'm not even joking. This is crazy. So she shared this on TikTok and the video blew up. Because of the accessibility of TikTok, Danielle was able to share her story. But the difference maker was that Stanley actually stepped in. They reached out to Danielle and not only offered her some cups, but they even replaced her car. These viral moments create organic marketing opportunities for brands. And once the brands get involved, new branches are created on the viral tree, extending it out to more people who may not have seen the video. Or as I like to say, where the money flows, the honey grows. And that's an original, baby. On a real note though, if we look back at the Stanley example, this decision brought new hype to that video. It literally just brought in a new layer of relatability and connection, which got more people involved and in sharing it with their friends. Brand engagement turns these viral trends into mainstream moments. But again, of course, this extends farther than you'd think. Radio stations use trending songs on TikTok to build out their library and share relatable music. That's a brand getting involved. Major brands use TikTok to see what people are consuming and sharing to come up with new product ideas. That's a brand getting involved. And even record labels require artists to share share new songs on TikTok to get them new attention. That's another brand getting involved. Are you seeing the trend here? TikTok doesn't only have influence on people, it has influence on the whole market. Now that we know the keys, what is the outcome? While TikTok has gotten so good at spotting new trends, it has also sped up the viral cycle. Looking at the trend like planking, no one's doing that anymore, right? 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 Please tell me no one's doing this anymore. Anyways, I love examples. Let me show you another one. If you're still watching this video, you've probably heard of Charlie D'Amelio. You know, renegade dance girl, you know, the one who had the show. Okay, sweet, we're caught up here. Well, she was the biggest TikToker when the platform first blew up and she went mega viral, getting up to over 150 million followers. In the early days, she was sharing videos of herself dancing, but once she got more famous, she branched out. Podcasts, TV shows, and even a YouTube channel. Now, while her TikTok is still pulling in tens of millions of views, her YouTube channel tells us a different story. Back in 2020, she was easily pulling in massive numbers there too. 14 million, 38 million, 11 million, 19 million, you get the point. But now, her last 11 videos haven't even broken 100,000 views. Now, before you get too excited here, this isn't an indication to me that she's fallen off, just that the mainstream kind of stopped paying attention. Don't believe that this is a thing? Here's another trend. Pokemon Go. Back in 2016, this game blew up, with over 200 million people playing the game in a single month. Over the next few months, and eventually years though, the game's attention started to dwindle, where now only 21 million people have played in the last month. Trends follow a consistent cycle. They blow up, reach a massive mainstream audience, lose some steam, and then hold on to a more niche community of followers long term. Wait, that means some people still are planking. What the heck is going on here? 
Any trend, influencer, or video that gets popular online follows in the same footsteps. But again, going back to the days of MTV, this climb was so much slower. The time in the mainstream was way longer, and the fade out took much more time. Because TikTok gives us easy access to so much relatable content, we're onto the next thing so much faster. But this might not be as bad as it sounds. I think it's time that we finish the story from earlier about Nathan. Where we left off, his video had just hit 100,000 views when he got to work after a bunch of problems. And what happened next was crazy. By the time he had a break at work, he'd already gotten over 2 million views on his video. What Nathan hadn't realized was that his video was the perfect antidote to all the tension going on in the world. Instead of worrying about the big problems, we should take in the small simplicities of life. Good music, nice scenery, tasty juice. I think you know what I mean. Eventually, other people started replicating the video using the sound and something even crazier happened. That song, Dreams by Fleetwood Mac, reached the top 100 billboard charts for the first time in 43 years. Ocean Spray started selling out of cranberry juice and Ocean Spray knew they had to thank him somehow. So after hearing his story, they decided to get him a brand new cranberry red truck full of juice. News channels then started asking Nathan to come on for an interview. TV shows cast Nathan in major roles, allowing him to get a better paying job and buy a new house. And even other brands started to reach out to him to sponsor future videos. Nathan's life changed forever because he took advantage of the accessibility of TikTok and shared a relatable video. And even better, it was a relatable video that he didn't even want to share originally. Nathan's story captures my favorite part about TikTok. It used to take so much to get to the mainstream. You needed to be famous, you needed to be an A-level celebrity, but now anyone can post one video and change the entire course of their life. The beauty of TikTok is that there's no one person trying to set the next big trend. Really, it's just people posting videos, hoping that something's gonna resonate with people. There's no barrier, there's no agenda, and there's no gatekeeping. TikTok makes it easy to connect with other people just like us. Hey, if you're still watching this video, you're probably gonna love my director's commentary that I just put together about this video on Patreon. Now, this is something new I'm launching, but you have access to three tiers. The backstage pass is gonna get you access to exclusive director's cuts of all the videos I'm posting, ad-free content like this video that you just watched, and so much more. So if you wanna join my Patreon, head over to the link in the description and join. I'd be very grateful. And yeah, I guess I will see you over there. Thanks for watching.